Congratulations. I absolutely enjoyed this movie so Good. much. I want to turn uh, this little bit upside down. Um, let me first ask you, Arnold. You're known as this big, strong, hunky man. And yet you show your softer side in this film, talking about drapery and helping with the groceries. Could you just touch on that? Are you good at decorating in real life? Well, I definitely have that side to me. The artistic side, and I think it has to do with when you, if you're at all in the horoscope, I'm a Leo, but I'm a Cancer rising, and uh, so I, I paint. Um, I'm very much into decorating and arranging. I love always when we make a decision to let's redecorate the house or let's redecorate a certain room or something like that. And I sometimes start collecting things just in case we decorate a certain room that I have all the stuff ready to go because I have a very clear vision of what things should look like and stuff like that. So definitely there's this side of me, yes. You, of course, uh, were one of our original action heroes for women at a time when women didn't get that chance. Mm -hmm. So. Are you aware of a certain degree of awe that women hold you in? And what was it like to do the action uh, again, to come back and do that? Yes, well, I have been approached by a few people in my life since I started playing Sarah Connor, and, and the impact will show in someone's face or in their words. Um, so coming back, I actually was really afraid that people would be disappointed. Because that's just, it's just easy to assume that they're going to say, oh my God, she got old. She doesn't look like Sarah Connor. Oh, she, you know, um, so I really felt like I would only and could only come back with the hope of showing something new and building on what I had already built on. And we'll see if it worked. I haven't seen it I yet. I think it worked. <laughs> Coming back to characters like this, what were the parts, the favorite parts, that you wanted to include again uh, that was good to revisit for you? I think that uh, the whole behavior of the Terminator, you know, when you play the machine part, I think it's very cool. And uh, I think that people really like that. And I know from the past Terminator movies, this is one of the things that people always commented on, that they really like, the, they, they themselves want to be like a machine. You know, because so many people have such a tough time in life, so they wish that they could be like for one day just a machine and don't have to face all the difficulties and all this and just be able to throw people around like I do in a movie and to, to, to take on the challenges as a machine and not with any emotions or anything like that. So but I think that people find this very attractive. Also the one-liners, are those the things you improvise? Uh, no, it, it, well, sometimes you do, but in a Jim Cameron movie you don't. Because uh, he, he doesn't leave you much space, you know. He just says, uh, "Don't, I don't make any changes to your acting, so you don't make any changes to my script." <laughs> so it's a very clear deal because I tried that one time on Terminator One, where I had a suggestion about something, and he says, "Look, I don't correct your acting, don't correct my writing, type of a thing." So he's very sensitive about that. Uh, but then out of movies, yes, you do. There were certain things, like, for instance, when they talk about the draperies and about the colors uh, and the, the butterflies and the stripes, you know, it all was improvised, you know. So there's, there's certain things where I, feel, where, where I feel like, okay, I think we can go a little, it would be funny to go a little bit almost kind of feminine in that way, which would be funny for to play totally the opposite of the killing machine. Of what you're, what you're expecting. Yeah. And that's what's so great is to always do the unexpected. Yeah. And I think that's what made the difference between the first two films is that Sarah Connor goes from this nothing waitress to this fierce warrior. And that's great because you just um, turn your audience on their end and they're just all of a sudden not seeing what they expected to see and it's that much more, um, you know, drawing them in. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what made the difference between the first two films is that Sarah Connor goes from this nothing waitress to this fierce warrior. And that's great because you just um, turn your audience on their end and they're just all of a sudden not seeing what they expected to see. And it's that much more, um, you know, drawing them in. It's, it's, it's funny also about this movie, that, which I had to laugh about. I don't know if you kind of caught on to that, but I mean, 
Terminator doesn't say much, right? In the first movie, I had like 27 lines, end of story, in, in Terminator 1. And uh, that's why I didn't want to take originally the part in the first place. But in this movie, I've become a little bit more talkative because I've adopted some human characteristics, so much so that she says, I hope that he shuts up now. <laughs> and he, she, she shut me up because I was talking too much, apparently. And also, it was very funny from the first movie, the way I didn't <laughs> say anything at all, to the say that this movie, you know, where she says, I hope he shuts the fuck up, you know. <laughs> so it's actually very funny. I love it. I hope you'll both be back. Thank yeah. you, love. Thank you Thank so you. much.